you said that uh, you've tried to maybe maybe that's not exactly what you said, but you you've like roped it back in a little bit or yeah been yeah. less communicative uh, around faith or beliefs yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Why why that change to so yeah no that's a great not question. be so forward with that yeah so that's a great question um because a lot of times like if you're trying to push like a belief on to someone or you're trying to show a belief to someone and someone doesn't believe in what you believe if you're overly pushing it on them they're usually going to rebel because at the end of the day you yeah. know we're all we take pride in our beliefs we take pride in what we we stand for and and if you challenge someone's belief with too much aggression. Um, it always makes them resort to pushing back, you know? Um, so I, I, you know, when I was like, when I like kind of first got rededicated my life to God, I was just like so on fire and I was just trying to push on everyone, you know, of every opportunity. And I was kind of doing it in the wrong way. Like I was like forcing it upon people and people were just like, man, okay, that's good for you. But no, and I was like, but you don't understand. They were like, leave me alone. And I'm like, oh, but now I'm just you know, trying to make it feel a bit more natural and trying to make it, you know, display in other ways, not displaying it with how loud I'm talking or with how persistent I am, but more with just my actions, more of just who I am and letting it, let that speak, you know, like a lot of people, they're like, when they get out in the ring, they're like, man, let my technique speak, you know, like Dustin yeah. Poirier, you know, he's not out here in your face not talking. He's like, hey, man, we'll talk when we get out in the ring, you know, through right. our, our hard work and stuff. And that's the same thing with me for religion i'm not trying to push it i'm just trying to display it and if you're wanting it i'm here to give it you know that's yeah. kind of like was like my mindset change um but yeah i mean i'm still figuring out a lot of things but it's just kind of like what's working for me right now i think that but i think that's a one uh, once again it's a mature response but two i think that you have a point you know i i come from for example not a very religious family at all but a, a sibling of mine became very religious. I don't want to call it randomly, but it was random in the sense that that wasn't normal or, or that wasn't yeah. congruent yeah. with the rest of the family, right? So it, it felt out of nowhere. And in the initial phases, we'll call it like the first year, it was very uh, evangelical almost in yeah in how, be, for understandable reasons, right? It was an important and life-changing worldview for yeah. that person. And you're right, as someone who's trying to understand someone that they love and continue to participate in their life at, together, there is, uh, even if it's not intentional, there can be a feeling of rejection, just like that the views are so vastly different than what you're used to, for example, that you feel pushback. And as that changed, uh, I think deep down, like the, the sentiments were beautiful. It was yeah. for all the right reasons. And the person that they became as a result of that was nothing but positive, but the messaging around that shifted in kind of the same way that you're saying. And so it, it almost, you invite more people into your circle in a way by being open about the fact that they might not feel that way. Whereas yeah. if it's not that way, people can feel very standoffish. But again, it's it shows you know an evolution in how you're communicating about it. But it's also that's a big part of who you are, right? Going it back is. to what we were talking about, and so that's something to be respected. I feel also. Yeah. And that's yeah, coming I mean, from a, a not very religious person, you know. Yeah. No, I respect everyone's beliefs. Like, um, I have a couple people, friends of the gym. They believe in um, other things, and I respect that, you know, because um, at the end of the day, it's you know, it's our own belief and it's special to us. So who am I to like condemn someone for that or to like make them feel bad about their belief? Like that's just like on a whole nother level of messed up. So I'm just, I'm just out here trying to like display my belief by my actions and not trying to like push it. Like you were saying, um, because everyone's belief is beautiful in itself. You know, you got to respect everyone's belief. So I'm just trying to be loving, you know, through, the platform that I'm on just display love and just dis dis display, you know, just joy. And if people find that intriguing um, and why, then I'm here to answer the questions, you know. Have there ever been a time that you can recall where your faith was really tested? Mm, all every day, you know, um, like not every day. That's that's the wrong. But like, you know, quite often 
Um, and every single time I tested, I always realize that that I don't know everything, you know. And, you know, I feel like there's people that spend a lifetime, you know, focusing on their belief and then they lose sight of, you know, their family and they lose sight of like truly like important stuff. So I'm out here trying to focus on everything that's important and focus on my beliefs. I don't have all the time in the world to just like focus on my beliefs. So when people test me about my belief, I'm like, shoot, man, I've only put in so much hours to learning this. I was like, I really don't know. I was like, uh, so, yeah, that happens a lot. Um, and then at the end of the day it's being humble and you're saying, shoot, man, I don't know. I, I gotta be yeah. completely honest. I, you know, you can't try and meet. I've had to learn lately to be wrong, you know, to accept that, that I'm wrong spirit, you know, because I, for the longest time I'd fight things, even though I knew I was yeah. wrong and I would just keep fighting them and I would be trying to make up some reason to make me right. And it just would, you know, the other person would just be looking at me and just like, man, you stupid, you know, you're like, I, I can't yeah. respect you at all now. But if, Someone meets, comes at me with a question. I'm like, oh, man, I, I just don't know. And they'll respect me 10 times more. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I don't know all the answers. But so if an answer comes up, I don't know. I just say, I don't know, man. Um, and I felt like that's worked out the most because there are people in my life that have the same beliefs as me. And they have just put like my dad, for example, like he he put so much time into um, um, just like spending time with God and just like. I'm learning, you know, um, and I always ask him questions and it just always seems like right. And I ask other people questions, you know, I'm just like, oh, I'm like, oh, I'm like, where did yeah. you hear that? I'm like, that don't sound right. <laughs> but so, yeah, but that's kind of the, the um, that's kind of where I'm at with that. But 